Hello everyone. Welcome back to the English Danny channel. I'm teacher Sarah. Today we're going to take a look at some words that come up very often in English conversation. Today, let's take a look at modern English slang. Let's get started. Today, we're going to learn about five slang terms. Slang is a word or words that are used in language that don't mean exactly what you think they do and are informal. So while some slang we will hear in everyday conversation, other slang might be more common among friends or when you're texting or on the internet. Let's take a look at the five slang terms we will learn about today. We're going to start easy with one of the most common slang words in the English language, which is cool. Next, we'll talk about the word flex. Third, we'll talk about the slang term low key. Fourth, we'll talk about the word lit. And finally, we'll talk about the slang word salty. So if we look at these words, we might think they mean one thing, as you would learn them in an English class. But of course, slang words have different meanings. First, let's begin with one of the most common slang words in English. Our first word today is cool. If we just look at the word cool, we might think we're talking about the temperature, right? Oh, I should bring a jacket. It's cool outside right? Not hot, not cold, cool. But this is a very, very common slang word in English. So let's talk about a few different meanings of the word cool as a slang word. Cool is most often used to mean something is good, interesting, or okay. So let's take a look at three sentences that are really common ways that we would use this word. First, those shoes are so cool. Blank is or are so cool is a way to say, I really like that thing. That movie was so cool. Your jacket is so cool. I really like it. I think it's interesting. I really enjoy or enjoyed it. Those shoes are so cool means I really like those shoes. Next, we might just say, that's cool. So for example, if a friend is telling you about something they, maybe what they did last weekend or uh, talking to you about one of their interests, you might say, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more. A little different would be when we say it's cool. So here, this is a way to say it's okay. For example, let's say I let my friend borrow a book and I said, please bring it back to me next week. Next week comes and they say, oh, Sarah, I'm so sorry, I forgot to bring your book. I might say, it's cool. This means it's okay, it's no problem. Cool can also be used to express satisfaction or agreement, or as we'll see in our last example sentence here, the opposite. So here's an example of this slang word that I use very often. Okay, cool. This means yes, sure, that sounds good, I agree. So if I say, hey, uh, to my friend, hi, do you want to go see a movie later? And they say, yeah, I would say, okay, cool. Just a kind of way to confirm, okay, cool. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, that sounds good. Next we see, that would be cool. This means I'd like to do that. That would be cool. I would be interested in doing that. So if someone says, oh yeah, um, I'm planning on going hiking this weekend, would you like to come? I might say, that would be cool. Yeah, I think that would be an interesting, fun thing to do. One final way we can use cool is not cool. This means we're actually pretty upset about something. If someone uh, does something we disagree with or maybe uh, says something unkind or does something mean, we might say, not cool. This means I'm not okay with what you did. Let's talk about four more slang words. 
Our second slang word today is flex. Just like the word cool, when we think of the word flex, we might think of, right? Oh, yeah, when you show your muscles, you flex. However, this slang word, to flex, means to show off, brag, or boast about something. For example, if I say you're flexing on me, this means you're showing off, right? You're bragging, you're boasting. Maybe you're telling me all about your expensive new car and uh, you're flexing on me, you're showing off, you're bragging about something. Here is an example of flexing. When we went on a date, he purposely showed me a lot of money in his wallet. He was flexing. So this means he was showing off to me that he had a lot of money. He didn't need to do that, but he was kind of bragging, showing off, huh, look how much money is in my wallet. And here's something that is very common, a really common use for this slang word. Weird flex, but okay. This means that's a strange thing to brag about. So if someone is trying to show off about something that you think is a little weird or unusual, you might say weird flex, but okay. So here are some common uses of the slang word flex. Third, let's talk about the slang word low key. Now, again, like our, our other slang words today, low key does have a normal non-slang meaning. Uh, for example, if I wanted to spend the weekend at home reading and not doing anything, I might say, I want a low key weekend, or I'm just going to have a low key weekend. This means nothing special, just quiet, not doing much. But the slang term low key has a different meaning. Low key is an adjective that often refers to the speaker's emotions or feelings. It means moderately of low intensity or secretly, so a little similar to the normal meaning of the non slang word low key. So let's see some examples. I low key want to eat an entire pizza. This means I kind of want to, or, you know, a little bit, I'm just trying to show a low intensity or a little secret something. I low key want to eat an entire pizza. Next, another common use of low key. I low key like her, but I'm too afraid to tell her. This means I secretly like her, right? I don't, I haven't, maybe I haven't told anyone um, and I'm too afraid to tell her. It's low key. She doesn't know and maybe other people don't know either. And finally, he's low key annoying. This means he's a little annoying. Maybe not enough for it to be a big deal, but low key a little, he's low key annoying. Our next slang word, which is very common, is lit. There are a couple meanings for lit. The first is it's most often used to describe something that's awesome or amazing, especially parties and so on. So I might say that party was lit. This means it was really, really great, really awesome, tons of fun. It was lit. It can also refer to being intoxicated, so drinking alcohol and such. So I might say we're going to get lit. This means we're going to get intoxicated. So as we can see, the word lit is most often used with partying and having a good time. Our last slang word today is salty. And no, not salty like when you're eating some french fries and there's a lot of salt. Here, salty is an adjective used to describe feeling upset, angry, or annoyed, usually over something that's not really a big deal. So for example, I might say he was so salty after he lost the game. Maybe we're playing some video games, my friend loses and he's really upset. He's in a bad mood now. I might say, oh, he's salty because he lost the game or he's salty about losing the game. Don't worry about her. She's just being salty. This means she's just in a bad mood, but it's over something small, so don't take it too seriously. And finally, I told him he was wrong and he got really salty about it. This means I told him he was wrong about something and he got a little too angry, a little too upset. He was salty. 
Okay, everyone, that's it for today's video about modern English slang. I hope you learned some useful words that you will hear and use in the future. And now when you hear them, you'll know what they mean and maybe you could even use them yourself. Why don't you go ahead and leave a comment below using one of these five slang terms? I can't wait to see your responses. We'll see you next time. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more English learning videos from our team of real English teachers. See you next time.